Okay, can everybody hear me? Omar, I didn't have the screen up. I was grabbing coffee, and actually, I'm going to do a little lecture here for the room, and I'm taping it. I'm going to put it on YouTube. How many of you, and be honest with me, I'm talking to the room people, not the trials here. How many of you didn't do this today? Be honest and tell me if you didn't do this today, and if you didn't do it today, I want you to tell me why. I, John, you did not. You were the one that wanted me to look at this. Why didn't you do it? Came and do, did it. I just want to hear from the people that didn't do it, and if you didn't do it, I want to know why. I, John, it was your idea for me to look at this, your idea for me to rate this. You were the one that wanted to do it. Look at, look at how this is moving so fast. Look at that. You got scared by me because I said it was going to be volatile, but it rated good, and then it swooshed, and then I ended up doing it. Big Fudge didn't do it. The stop he thought was too large. All right, well, at least you're being honest. It's just two people didn't do it. I wasn't 100% sure that I was going to do it because of the fact that it was going to be very volatile. But when it rated well, I said, let's watch it. And then when it opened and swooshed, I said, we're going to do it. I mean, this should have been the reason that everybody should have done it. And that's why I'm taking a survey. I'm taking a survey to see who did do it, regardless of whatever I said in the morning, which I said it's going to be very volatile. And I was absolutely right. But the volatility worked in our favor. It, was, it, was, it went down. It swooshed, which we want to see. So when this did it, everyone should have been all in, regardless of the size of the stop, regardless of the fact that I didn't even know if this would even work. But we got the confirmation when it opened. So there's, there's two things here I want to talk about. If swooshes and sets up, we should always do it. Yes. Are you asking me a question or are you telling me that's what you feel, Discipline Dave? The answer is yes. Every time it sets up that you get a swoosh, you should do it. Even if you're not sure before the, before the gap, you should do it when it does. Oh, that's what you feel. And you would be right. That's how I feel. You can tell the way I speak. That's absolutely true. The way that I speak, I, I, I didn't know if I wanted to do this today. Why? I said it in the morning in the room. Because the volatility, I knew this would be volatile today. I knew this would be volatile, and I wasn't sure it, which direction. Then I rated it, and I was surprised. I was shocked that it rated 20 points. I couldn't believe it, but it did. And like I said, I highly doubt a lot of day traders probably short of this today. But I have a system for a reason, and i got to follow it. And guess what else? Nothing else rated good today. Nat was 17 points, even though it worked. MCD was 19 points. Remember, at 19, 50, 50 chance of working a family, and MCD did have worked, but it really didn't meet the, meet the rating, which was 20. So when something tells you that it rates well, and then you get the confirmation in the setup, then, then, then you do it. Regardless of the way that I, what I thought was going to happen, which was that it was going to be volatile, and I wasn't wrong, I was right, except for the volatility played in our direction. If you didn't do it, it's okay, but I want, I want some of you to learn something from this in here. Not just the people that didn't do it, but everyone. That's not what the, I'm going to lecture about here in a minute. What I'm going to lecture is, which, which actually it looks like a couple people were on here today, specifically Steelheart. Steelheart isn't in the room today, I don't know if he... If he's doing something, he's an attorney, I'm going to email him afterwards. But BMI did not work on Friday. BMI didn't work. If you did the first trend, you lost. If you didn't retake it later in the afternoon, you didn't make any money on it. It did go. It did work. It ended up working on the day the gap worked. It fell the way I said it would. But if you did the first trade and BMI on Friday, you lost. If you didn't trade today and come into the room or didn't do this because of Friday, then that's what I'm going to lecture about. And the lecture is that you got to be here and you got to show up and you got to be here every day and you got to do the same thing every day according to the rating and the setups if you want to do well. And that is something that some of you are doing and something that some of you are not. And so the bottom line is when you decide to do this and you want to do this, you can't pick and choose the days that you tr come into the room based on what happened the previous day unless, unless you have an appointment. You have an appointment, you have to do something, you have to go to the doctor, that's different. But if you are going to commit to trading, then you got to be here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You got to be here. You got to do it. You got to be here. You got to do it. When I call it, when I give it, when I do it, you got to do it with me. And you got to do it when the gap rates per the system. And you got to do it when it sets up. And not only that, you have to risk the same amount of money, which some of you don't do. Some of you 
will not have a good day, then the next day you will risk more, which is wrong. Some of them will not have a good day, and then the next day you will risk less, and that will work and be huge, and that is wrong. You have to get up and you have to do the same thing. The one thing that many, many people say, I, oh, you have to train, you know, like a robot. You have to, that's why you have to be disciplined. You have to train like a robot. None of us are robots. That's impossible. That's ridiculous. People that teach like that and say that are insane, quite frankly, as far as I'm concerned. We, I'm not a robot. That person that's saying that isn't a robot, and neither are you. And no computer has the intuition that I do to see something a live time to call it, and no computer ever will. So no automated system is ever better than me at what I do. But I'm telling you, and you, once you get to know it, but I'm telling you the, the thing that you do need to be exact about and the same every day is doing it when it rates and doing it when it sets up. You don't have to be a robot and trading without emotions because that's impossible because you're a human being that exists on this planet. You have a heart and you have a mind and you have emotions. So stop pretending you don't, but you will risk the close to the same amount of money every day. That's your plan of action. You will do the gap when I call it. You will do the gap when it rates well. When it doesn't, you won't. You will be here every day. You, that's, that's it. How hard can that be? That doesn't mean you're an emotionless person, but that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the discipline that's required. But it's not discipline where you trade without emotion because that's idiotic. It's crazy. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't even work. So don't even try it. And people try their whole lives to say, well, I'm not doing it because it's my fault because I, 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 I have too many emotions. Wrong. You, you, of course you do. Look, this is still going. This is hilarious. In fact, it held 50. Here, you can do this again if you want. It's not even a kamikaze anymore. I called a kamikaze back here. I said 56.25. Did anyone do it? If you did it, if you did it, you could have been out. It, it broke 55. I missed that because I walked away. Look at this now. You could do this again. Um, yeah, we'll go over the entry in this again, Susanna. But the lecture I'm trying to make here is that. It's, it's not about trading without emotions. It's just about trading with the consistency of your plan of action with what you're doing. Your plan of action every day should be consistent with the money that you risk and that you be here every day and then you take the trades when they rate over 20. That's what, that ha that's what has to be consistent. There are days in my voice where I definitely like something more than others and you can see that and you can tell it and you can feel it and you can hear it. This today I felt would be very wild to trade. I wasn't wrong. It worked in our favor though. I'm not against wildness if it works in our favor. But I didn't know that until it opened. But when it opened and swooshed, there was no reason that everybody shouldn't have done it. Now, it looks like everybody did but two people. But some people didn't show up this morning because Mondays typically are slow. I get that because this didn't work on Friday, right? It did work. It ended up working for the reason I discussed, which will be lectured in the morning. And I said, it's, this isn't going to get bought today by institutions. Either it flatlines or it breaks and goes and it gets sold off. And that is what happened. It did break and go and got sold off and it never went anywhere up. But it took a long time. I hate when that happens myself. I don't like it, but sometimes it does. But anyways, if you, if you, if you make a decision based on a previous day about something that happened in the past, about what you're doing this week, then you miss out on something. Whether it means you don't show up, or you risk more, you risk less, or do something different. And that is where some of you have to get it right in 2017. You're either, you're either in or you're out. And if you're in, it doesn't mean trying to work through you know, the emotions that you have because you have emotions. It means deciding that you're, you're going to just do what you say. You have a system I taught you where you don't have to think. You don't have to think. I give you the points. Then I tell you where to take the trade. You don't even have to think. You have to think about one thing, which is figuring out your share size, which some of you have gotten are getting better at. Some of you are good at it, some of you are struggling with that last year, but I think some of you are definitely getting better at it. And, and that's good. That's a good thing. It's a great thing. Uh, JL Trader is back in at 55, 55.19. Where do you have the stop? 55.19? I don't know where you're getting that. If you're not consistent in your plan, you'll struggle with the roller coasters of emotions. Yeah. But but I'm telling you that everyone has emotions. So what do you, I mean, if I, for, if I taught for 25 years and traded for the rest of my life, it wouldn't matter. I would always have emotions. You would always have emotions. It's like a ridiculous philosophy to say you're going to trade without emotions. 
Let me tell you something. If you paid for a system that was automated and you put your money up with that system and that system was up money, you'd be happy. And if that system was down money and losing, you'd be upset. You're trying to tell me that if you had a system that was pressing the buttons, you'd have less emotions? No, you wouldn't. You would blame the system. You'd have someone else to blame besides yourself when you lose. But you would still have emotions surrounding that automated system that is taking your trades that you purchased or bought because it has to do with money. And let me tell you something, there is a lot of emotion surrounding money. This is why a lot of things in the world sometimes, sometimes there's, you know, your emotion surrounding money is what creates things for you. It can create good things or it can create negative things. Money in and of itself, the way you feel about it, the way you think about it will create what it happens in your life. If you're thinking negative about it in a fearful way, then you will, you will create that. If you think positive about it in a happy way, in a joyous way, in a loving way, then you will create that. And therefore, you will feel happy and satisfied and have money and make money. And your money will grow. But if you're in fear, the money will go away and disappear. And you just got to know that about yourself, about when you make choices about things. It, you, I mean, this is about everything. Like... Like you want to go on a vacation and you're afraid, oh my gosh, this is, a, this is an expensive vacation. I don't know if I want to spend this much money, but I really want to go, but I'm worried that it's too much. Should I put it on a credit card, you say to yourself? So then you don't go and you feel miserable and you work so hard and you haven't had time off in so long, you need to relax and you're, and you're in a bad mood. Or you go and you have a terrible time because you're worried about the money that you spent. You never really relax anyways. I mean, I could, I could, I could think of a hundred million things that I could relate uh, emotions and money to. But trading is so, it's like, it's like the whole, it's like everything. It's, it just comes all together in trading because it involves money. It's like a heightened, a heightened uh, emotional ball about money. And, and what I find absolutely ridiculous and hilarious and absolutely insane is how so many people teach and talk and talk and talk and talk. Traders that talk, people that teach, everybody, everybody. Brokers that, that act like all the world's problems would be solved if people would just trade without emotions. It is absolutely impossible. It is impossible. You are a human being and you have emotions to even say that is impossible, okay? That's like me saying, tonight, this evening, I'm going to fly to Mars. I'm going to come back then tomorrow morning after I visited Mars and had a nice dinner, and then I'm going to trade in the morning. I'm not going to do that. That would be impossible. I have no physical way to get to Mars. Uh, I don't even know if they're putting any money into the, into the NASA anymore. I can't go to Mars tonight. I, I can't. It's impossible. I can't have dinner on Mars. I don't even know if I'd survive Mars. I, even if I did, I'd never make it back to trade tomorrow morning. I'm not going to Mars tonight. That's impossible, okay? But trading isn't impossible. But it is impossible to do it without emotions. And it also is, is you know, just one of these things where if you're, if you're not here doing it every day consistently, how do you expect the results to be there? They're not gonna. Your risk is now $200. Shares... $700 you took. You follow your risk. You like the way you calculate. It's very good and concise and easy to follow. Yes. You just manage your emotions by following a consistent plan. Well, the, but I'm saying it's two different things. The plan is you're going to do this. The plan has nothing to do with your emotions. Your emotions are your emotions. You know, that's it. But the plan is you're taking the trade when it rates 20 points or more if it sets up. And you be here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or every day I have the room open. That's the plan that has to be set. Whether you get out because you, you have to go somewhere or you don't want to back up or it's very volatile or drops so hard so fast you think it's going to back up. Or I mean, all of this, you know, you, you know, fine, who cares? It doesn't matter. And that's the point I was trying to say earlier this morning. Who cares where you get out? Who cares where you get out? You're up. If you can consistently get it right, which I do, and take the trade entry right and be up immediately, who cares where you get out? Who cares? Who cares how many hours it is? Who cares how many dollars it drops? Who cares? If you get made another two thousand dollars, who cares? You will you care more when you're when you don't get out and you're up fifteen hundred bucks or whatever and you lose it. 
and then you lose the 1500 bucks you're up and you lose the money in the trade that you actually risk. That is not right. That is not good. So some of you in your head about this, and I know because when I was doing some things last year, thinking about increasing my size, I've been back and forth in my head about it. It doesn't matter. I've, I've, I'm less and less and less am I talking and teaching about our units. It does not matter. We get it right. Just do it. It doesn't matter how much you make. It's money. It's money that you didn't have at 8.30 this morning or yesterday or the day before. And now you do. Courage is about acting in spite of the fear. Yes, you, that's why you do need courage. That's true. Um, let me just see if I missed anybody's things. You took a quick loss in MSR, which is not working out, and made up for the loss with QCOM. Good, 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 good. Anyways, uh, you know, there are days where some of you have conviction and stuff that I don't. Like, I didn't, I didn't like this. Look, it, it's working here now, very late. Again, I wouldn't have done this and I wouldn't have called it and I didn't have time to rate it. So that was the, I didn't have any time to rate this. Look, this did set up here. It did set up. It did set up. Let's look at the market. Oops. The oh, market's a little bit red. Anyways, this is a good, good lecture today. This is a good lecture today. And if you didn't do it, fine. Everybody did but two people. MCD works. Some of you did that. But the point I'm trying to make is that you got to be here every day to get it. And you got to follow the system. And and even I was like, I don't really know if I want to do this today. And, you, and I said it, I'm like, oh, I know it's going to be volatile. I, do I really want to deal with this in a Monday? Do I want to deal with something that's a crazy, crazy in a Monday? When I really don't usually like to trade Mondays at all, as all of you know. But, you know, when it rated, I'm like, oh, geez, it rated good. I guess we're going to watch it. Doesn't make sense to watch something that doesn't rate good over something that does. I have a system, I'm following it. And when it opened, it swooshed. I said it in the first, this swooshed in the first three seconds. Three seconds into the open, I said this is swooshing. I didn't tape the room today, I should have. It was three, two, it might have been one second into the open, I noticed it swooshed. In, in, in three seconds, in one second, in two seconds, in a second, the stock was not down all the way here, but it was like in here. I mean, it did it. Uh, where can you find the top losers? So I don't know your, your, um, you know, you have to call the platform place. I only, I use this Orbis because I like them the best. I just think this is very easy and simple here. Everyone should have it, but I don't know where to find it in, in your platform, Jerry, because I don't use it in that. I only use it in this. And I've used, I use these charts and I use this top 20 list because I like it. And actually, they just did an update here, which I have to do this week, finally, on the charts here. You, you should have it. If you don't, just call the customer service. Well, then you, then you might not have it. I don't know, because I've never used it. I've never used it. I've never even asked, because I have this, and I, and I get this for free. Um, so what can I tell you? Uh, freestockcharts.com is free. Uh, I don't know any other free services. Well, you're here in the room though. You're here in the room, freestockcharts.com, Yahoo Finance. I don't know what other free things to tell you. Um, Koala Bear is writing something here. Denise Schull? Showing emotional areas of the brain lighting up with making trading decisions? Sure, all of that, all of, you know, however, the, the brain is related to your emotions. I, I don't know exactly what you're saying there, exactly what the whole thing is, but, you know, your all, everything, your body, your brain, your emotions, all of it, it's all tied together. Okay. It was a good day today. I guess we're going to have a good week. I want to say one more thing about Amazon. Um, does anyone know what I'm going to say? Does anyone know what I'm going to say before anyone, anyone says it? Or does anyone want to guess what I'm going to say? About Amazon?
Hello, am I talking to myself? Does anyone know what I'm going to say about Amazon? Chief says no. Options, no, I don't see anything here yet, but guess what? They changed the earnings date again. They did it last Thursday, one week before they changed it. And no, I'm not in this, but that's the second time they did it. Can you believe that? They changed the earnings date one week out in this again, and I'm not in it, but remember last year, I don't remember when it was, if it was second or third quarter last year, I don't remember what it was, it wasn't the first quarter. I don't even remember when it was, they changed the earnings date one week before and I was in an option to take it into the earnings. I wasn't, I didn't see anything in here and no one should be in this. But if we were, we would be screwed because they changed the date again, the second time. Can you believe that? I probably will never, never take this ever again before the earnings unless it's after the one week. That's the second time they changed it. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? I found out Friday. I, I found out Friday, actually. Uh, my broker told me, I was like, you have got to be kidding. Because I wasn't in it. I wasn't in it. I wasn't doing anything in it. Can you believe that? That's the second time they changed it. One week before. So if we had been in something here, we would be running or running or running around to try to get out of it today or tomorrow. Uh, or we would be screwed to get it to get it before the earnings now because I looked at it. It's crazy expensive. It doesn't make any sense. There's nothing to do here. No. So, but can you believe that? That that is screwy. Twice they did that. So I thought that was interesting, and nobody probably even paid attention. I guess, but I've been watching these things and looking at them. I don't see anything yet. Susanna, you haven't missed any options trades. I haven't called any or done any at all. But we might have done this. We didn't. And if we had, we would be running around to get out of it. I did end up getting out of it that one time when I was, they screwed me last year. I got out of it, and I got out of it that day. The Monday after I found out, I got out of it that day with profit. But, it, I mean, can you believe that? I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, I'll confirm with your email addresses, Susanna, because you should you should be on everything. But everything got everyone got the password today, I guess, except for Aaron. I, I you know, uh, so I think we're good for this week. All right, listen, have a good day. Everything is looks great in our lives. Oops. <laughs> and we can go on with the week. Okie doke. Oh, look at this. Here it goes. 55, 54, 53, 52, $50. Cute calm. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. You're welcome. Okie doke.